CataractCoach.com, preparing your own DMEG graft. These pearls can ensure a better visual outcome for your patients. Now, if you're in a place where you've got to prepare your own graft, this video has some good clues here. Now, you can see the surgeon here is doing combined FACO and DMEX. Here's the cataract part. Good looking capsule rex is being done. I know, like how that incision is being made. Uh, very peripheral, kind of on the, near the limbus. That looks great. Eye well in the bag. That looks beautiful. Now, here comes the graft. So, using a wax sponge to kind of uh, get away some of that moisture here. And you can see this is the cornea. And you got to be very carefully do your own dissection here. So a little bit of a tripan blue dye obviously is going to be very helpful here. Here is preparing that DMET graft. There it is. And a little bit of a, a viscoelastic or a bubble going in here. That's a little marking. So that's F mark is going to be your orientation mark. So you have it stamped appropriately so it's not going to be upside down. You can cut this graft to your desired size. That's really important to decide what diameter you want. And then slowly get it flipped over. And again, there is that orientation mark. Now, I'm very spoiled. If we're going to do a graft here in the U.S., we have these that are already prepared in the lab, in the cornea lab, by someone else. And they're already stained with tripan like this. And they're already orientation marked. And they're cut to our preferred thinness. Also cut to the preferred diameter we want. So sometimes we're really spoiled. But if you're in a situation where your, your eye bank doesn't prepare it for you, this is how you can do it. You can see there's the graft, nicely rolled up. It's stained with the tripan blue dye, so it's easy to see. And slowly injecting it into this injector, of course, in BSS. Now, here's the eye. Now you've got an air bubble in using a reverse Sinsky hook to get the host tissue off. Nicely done. Air bubble is very helpful to see it. If it, Others, if you do it under BSS, it's almost impossible to see. And so that looks great. Once that's done, a small peripheral iridotomy is made, and that's going to be inferior. And then now slowly injecting the graft with the AC full of BSS and keeping the eye relatively soft here. There it goes in the eye. Now be sure here, don't let it just scooch back out your incision. Yeah, deflate the eye, get the IOP low, and then the graft will stay in position. Again, the law, all kinds of techniques to open these grafts, make sure it's in the correct orientation. If you want to see more of these, go to cataractcoach.com, the actual website, and search the keyword DMEG, D-M-E-K, and you'll see videos of how to always get this origami unfolding correct. And once you get that graft in a good position, that looks fantastic, maybe just a tiny bit more. Then you can get your air bubble in, and you can use just air, or some people also use various mixtures of gas at various concentrations. But again, air tends to work pretty well too. Once that's in position, big air bubble going in, beautifully done. So nice case here. Again, if you want to learn about DMEC, check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. And of course, also remember to check out our retina sister channel, retinarounds.com. Great videos every day.